Good morning. Welcome to TI22. Cheers to you if you're just sitting down with a cup of coffee. Uh, welcome to my little detailing and PPF studio. And welcome to a brand new M5 CS. Look at this. Beautiful thing. So, here we are. Morning. Uh, yeah, if you've clicked on the title, you'll know this uh, is my pal Chris Harris's M5 CS, which he has kindly brought into us for a bit of PPF work, a uh, bit of bit of what we do. Here to collect my M5 CS that um, James very kindly put some uh, PPF on. So I've gone for this sort of, call it a nose job. I just wanted the nose done, because when we put this stuff all over the car, you lost the depth of this weird matte green with gold flake in it. So there you go. It looks like it's got something on its nose. Remember Amal, Alan Donald, the fast bowler, South African fast bowler from the 90s that used to wear that white sun cream on his nose? That's what this car looks like. I'm very pleased with it. Hopefully it'll stop it getting chipped up. But to be honest with you, I won't be able to see it because I'll be driving it. Um, so yeah, just thought I would flick on the camera, um, let you know what we've done to the car. Um, and then like I normally do, I'll pick it up and give you a bit of a walk around. If for nothing else, you can have a little look at what an M5 CS looks like because there's some really cool stuff on these um, that, yeah, you don't get on a normal M5, that's for sure. Um, so yeah, this is Chris's car. Um, he got in touch when he took delivery of the car. The car's got 400 miles on it. Um, and because of the finish on this car, this lovely satin green, um, Chris was super keen to avoid damaging it um, and avoid chipping it really. Uh, Chris does a lot of miles. Um, what we found was, as we can get with these satin colours, and if you've been watching um, Chris's social media and my social media, um, we did a wing first of all in the film and it's not quite a perfect match for the factory shade of satin. The trouble with satin and matte colours is there's sort of degrees of sat one man's satin is another man's matte and that sort of thing. So the film manufacturers have to kind of choose uh, an amount of matting um, and stick with it. And sometimes it matches and sometimes it doesn't. So unfortunately on this car it doesn't, which means you either have to do the full car or Chris's idea actually was to do this sort of old school bonnet bra, so the first kind of 12 inches of the bumper, of the bonnet, sorry. Uh, we've done the full bumper, uh, we've done some of the little gloss carbon pieces, so the mirrors, we've actually done the, the A pillars as well. There's ever such a slight colour difference, but like Chris said, really, it's kind of a cool, it's like a nod to the old school in a way, how we used to do bonnet bras back in the day before we do pretty much what we do now is the whole front end. So you never really notice on a gloss car, of course, it blends in perfectly and you would never know when two panels are next to each other, which one had film on and which one doesn't. But I'm really pleased with how this has come out. It looks, and a few people that have come in and seen it have just said, you know, wow, it just looks almost like a styling thing on the car. So really, really happy with how it's come out. Chris has seen it and he's super happy. Um, so I just wanted to show it to you guys before uh, it went off and about. I'm sure some of you will see the car out and about. Um, but yeah, just, just wanted to fill you in on what we've done, really. Um, these M5 CSs are cool. They just, they've just nailed this car, haven't they? They've, the, the drivetrain really hasn't come on very far since the F10, but the interiors on these now, and especially these with the four individual bucket seats and everything in them is just mind-blowing. Um, lovely, lovely thing. So I won't, I won't talk on too much, really. Um, do do as a subscribe if you're new here and you've been pulled in by, by the reasons for looking at this car. Um, do give us a subscribe and a like. I try and keep everyone updated with what we're doing. Um, and yeah, thank you very much for watching and we'll look forward to seeing you on the next video. Thank you very much. Cheers everyone. Enjoy the look around.